If you're listening to us and France World Radio Africa has grown into a broadcasting network airing programs in over 65 languages and dialects to more than 40 countries in sub Saharan Africa. In Malawi, the station has opened its doors to the Younger Politicians Union, an inter party youth organization that provides a forum for youth participation in political leadership and the decision-making process. Hosted by a popular freelancer journalist, Peter Jegwa Kumwenda, Power to the Youth is enabling the youth across Malawi to voice their concerns. Well, the owners of the program are an organization calling themselves Young Politicians Union. They decided that uh, one of the ways in which they were going to interact with their members uh, was through having a radio show and uh, so they, they were looking for a journalist who could put together a show for them, produce and present it. Young Malawians have the opportunity to discuss on air issues that are important to them, such as national events that have a bearing on their lives or any initiatives that may affect the youth within Malawi. Clement Makua is the national director of Younger Politicians Union. He says the organization attracts young people from different political parties. Um, it is very encouraging to note now that uh, after engaging most of young people, they have now uh, uh, started coming out to, uh, to engage their elected leaders, uh, demanding account, account, accountability from them. So I think that's an, as uh, an aspect that we may wish to advance across the country so that people uh, uh, get their leaders accountable. On this day, Linda Harawa, Secretary General of the Youth Conservative Forum, was a studio guest on Power to the Youth. She was appealing to the youth to volunteer in their communities for the month of November. We're trying to organize a voluntary youth service month and we'll be engaged in a number of activities. We'll do school outreach programs, we'll do construction and rehabilitation, and we'll launch it in style. We're trying to mobilize young people. We're trying to engage different stakeholders, including the minister, uh, to share the ideas and we have. And a lot of young people, a lot of people who we have engaged so far are very excited about this initiative. Chikondi Violet Miozi is the administrative secretary of the Younger Politicians Union. She uses the program to empower young girls. She says pushing for positive change, especially for women and girls, has not been easy. Our focus is to empower these women, to give them access to education, to give them access to these positions so that they should take part in uh, issues affecting their lives. Across the continent, most programs are funded primarily by external donor countries church organizations, and international development agencies. In this particular case, a TWR Malawi is giving the youth a free airtime. Victor Kawanga is the national director, Trans World Radio Malawi. Well, it's largely in the broader context of recognizing the role young people play in the country, um, in the place of initially building them up into leadership capacities. So TWR as a media organization we decided that we should provide a platform to engage young people so that um, they could be exposed to issues of politics. The Younger Politicians Union has over 3,000 registered members nationwide. They are continuing to encourage the youth to nurture their political ambitions, sensitize the youth on principles of good governance, human rights and the dangers of corruption. Reporting for VOA News, Paul Ndiho in Lilongwe, Malawi.